what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Good morning, friends. It is four o'clock on Wednesday morning. I am headed in the house from getting James off to work. Um, I have about three hours that I can sleep before I have to get up again. I'm going to go ahead and put a load of towels in the dryer, put a load of jeans in the washer because I've been so busy. I've not got much done in the way of getting laundry washed. Uh, and I need to kind of keep up on that. But at 9 o'clock, we have the arthritis doctor. It's over an hour drive. So if I get up at 7, I'll have time to get ready and get out the door and um, get them to their arthritis appointments. CJ, Penny, and Maddie, and Bubba and Mika will all have oatmeal before breakfast. But then Bubba and Mika will go with me to their appointment. Um... I'm probably going to make my shake. But, um, yeah, that's about it this morning. I'm trying to get myself awake and alert. Um, I can't think of anything else that I have to do today. My intentions are when we get back, doing some cleaning around the house. A friend from church gave me a bunch of fabric. I need to go through that because it's all piled in my bedroom and just kind of sitting in the way. So I need to do that. I need to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. And if it's a crock pot meal I can put together in like two minutes in my hurry out the door this morning, that would be even better. But I have no clue what we're going to do about dinner tonight yet. I may do something in the instant pot even last minute later. I'm just not sure. But um, yeah, I've got to figure all that out. I've got... Their appointments this morning, they go every four months, four to six months, depending on how they're doing for checkups and go over how their medicines are working and things like that. And we're coming into winter, which means they're both going to start having a lot more inflammation and flares as they typically do in the winter. So she likes to see them before it all hits and kind of see where we're at and decide if we should increase medications or what we're going to do. Um... But yeah, we got that appointment and then um, we're going to come on home. Like I said, I've got those cleaning project projects and I think I'm going to take a nap and then we are going to do some crafts for Christmas and do dinner and I think that's it. We might go to church again, depends on how tired this mama is because right now I am exhausted of getting up at 2 and 2.30 in the morning. Monday, I had to get up to take the kids to speech and stuff, so I had to take James to work then. Tuesday, um, Bubba had the dentist, so again, taking to work at 2.30 in the morning so that I can get Bubba to the dentist. Today, it's the arthritis doctor. Tomorrow, it's speech. I think Friday is nothing, and I plan on just sleeping till like 9.30 in the morning. That's like my end game right now. That is what's on my mind of just make it to Friday. Just make it to Friday. We can have a lazy Friday. We are not trying to fit school in this week, even though last week was our fall break. We have so many appointments this week that it would just be utter chaos to try to fit the amount of driving I'm doing, the amount of appointments and everything into our day with schoolwork. Next week, we're going to hit schoolwork, get after it. We're almost done with our Israel study, and we're going to get back to the good and the beautiful I can't wait. The kids can't wait. I have several kids who are like, when are we going to go back to doing the good and the beautiful? And I find that interesting because one of them is my complainer who just says, I want to unschool. Why do we have to do book work all the time? And he was like, hey, when are we going to go back to our binder work? And I was like, what? So that tells me they're enjoying our new curriculum this year. Um, but anyways, I am going to get inside, get that laundry switched, and get laid down because I am just exhausted right now. And like I said, I need that three hours of sleep 
before I have to um, get moving and on the road. So, I'll talk to you guys. <sighs> Sorry, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you love it? Hi friends, um, it is Thursday afternoon, it's 3.30. Let me give you a quick update on how our day has gone. We left the house about five minutes late, and then we hit construction on the way to their appointments. So we ended up to their appointments about 10 minutes late, but I called ahead and let them know we were running late, and they said it was fine. Um, so we got to their appointments. They both got checked out. Mika is doing well. She's doing about the same as she's done all summer. Bubba is getting worse. His knees, ankles, his elbow. Um, they're all giving him grief right now. They're all irritated and inflamed. His right leg is like an inch shorter than his left leg from having a growth spurt at the same time as having inflammation in that knee. Um, so he's going to have his medication doubled. And we're going to give that a try and hopefully get things under control. And if it doesn't, he's going to have to do a round of steroids. And we go back in March. So that's how things are going with those two. And then, of course, we drove our about hour and a half drive home. Um, I got home. The kids wanted to go outside. So CJ, Mika, Penny, and Bubba went outside. Maddie wanted to spend time with me because I've been so busy this week. Um... So I put on I Love Lucy, and I made popcorn and cocoa for us, and we got in the recliner, and we started watching I Love Lucy, and I told her, Mommy is very tired. I think I'm going to go to sleep for a few minutes, and I said, I have to go get Daddy in a little bit, so I'm just going to lay back for a little bit, and she said, okay, and she was over there watching Lucy and just giggling away. I laid back, pulled my blanket up, went to close my eyes, and James called and said, I'm going to be done in an hour or so come this way so I'm here to pick him up he is getting unloaded and stuff and we're gonna head home um, as for dinner I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do I am somewhere between just make some hot dogs and maybe some chili and sauerkraut or something and go get some hot and ready pizzas because the hot dogs would involve cleaning after cooking but it wouldn't be a lot of cooking like most of my meals involve. Pizzas would be very little cleanup, especially if I get some paper plates. <laughs> and it would involve me driving half an hour to the pizza place. So that's where I'm at in life right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I do know I'm exhausted. And once I get James in this car, I'm going to get in the passenger seat. And I'm going to take me a nap on the way home. Um, tomorrow I've got to take James to work again because I have to take Bubba to speech therapy in the morning. Mika has graduated occupational and speech therapy. I told you about that in previous videos. So she no longer has to get up and go do those on two days a week. And she's super excited about that because she is not at all in any way, shape, or form a morning person. I mean, I'm a night owl. I have really bad insomnia and I hate getting up in the morning, but I do it. Mika, you have to wake up 360 times in 30 minutes because she'll just keep pulling that blanket up and going back to sleep. She don't want anything to do with mornings. She didn't want anything to do with anything until about 1 in the afternoon, but I usually make her get up by 9 and um, kind of get situated for the day. But, um, yeah, she's excited. She gets to sleep in now. And she said she's not getting out of bed until Bubba gets home from speech on those two days a week. So, she's excited. Um, but in all honesty, with her arthritis and stuff, it's probably good for her to get the extra rest. So, it's whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, um, I have not gotten anything done around the house today. My house is a disaster right now. I did get towels dried but they're on the kitchen table to be folded I did not fold them I just I'm tired and I just don't care today um I have a load of pants in the dryer and a load of pants in the washer so I need to get all of that folded tonight before I go to bed or it's just going to be piled up um so that's kind of why I'm thinking of an easy dinner 
and I still have about four more loads of laundry to wash before I'm caught up because when the kids clean their rooms they brought me all the laundry they for the last two weeks they've swore I don't have any laundry upstairs I don't have any laundry in my room and then when they clean their rooms here it comes so um I've got to get all that washed what else do I need to do I need to mail out Christmas cards I have them ready to mail I just need to send them I need to get stamps and send them and um what else I'm trying to think of what else we need to do it's probably about it I don't even think I'll get to the cards today I'm just I'm tired um but I'm just yeah tired guys um Saturday is my Sunday school classes my Sunday school classes Christmas party dinner thing and we do an ornament exchange like a dirty Santa ornament exchange and so I have ornaments for that and gift bags I still need to figure out what to bring for the potluck everybody's just bringing different stuff I know one person's bringing gumbo I think somebody's bringing dinner rolls I mean just different things so I'm trying to decide what to bring but I just I don't know I just haven't thought of anything yet but I will I'll think of something before this weekend and get it made up for that so if you guys have suggestions for potluck meals leave them in the comments so I can figure out what I'm bringing because right now I don't know next week is the kids co-op groups Christmas party and they're gonna do decorating sugar cookies so we need to bring sugar cookies and frosting and we need to bring healthy snacks to kind of counterbalance all the cookies and frosting and things and the kids love their Christmas party that they do so they are all very excited about that and that'll be next Thursday so I also need to keep that in mind too I ought to go ahead and before Thursday make the sugar cookie dough and get it in the freezer so that whatever day next week I have some time penciled in life and craziness I can get that out roll it out and get cookies made um, but yeah that's where we are right now I'm gonna get off of here and I'm going to work on some editing until James gets his truck parked and I can take a nap. James suggested we do pizza for dinner and I'm at a point where things are busy and hectic and I'm tired all the time and anything that makes life easier is just working for me. So I said, sure, why not? So we went to Marco's Pizza and we got some pizzas and wings and I didn't film until there was hardly anything left, but that was what was left of the pizzas and wings after everybody had eaten. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you want to chat and I'll see you next time with another new video. Bye.